Okay, so we're now over in ZBrush to clean up the map, the UV map that's just been produced by Agisoft. So if we just go to Import, navigate to where we exported the file to, the OBJ file, import the mesh, drag out in the viewport, press T to make it editable. And something that probably is worth doing in Agisoft before exporting is realigning the mesh because you can see from the different axes it's not particularly straight but in this occasion we'll just have to live with it so what I first need to do is go to the sub tool menu and press duplicate because we need a copy you can turn the first uh, the second one off and just work on the first layer next thing to do is Z remesh this uh, version straight of Agisoft because we want to try and remove all these triangles so we've got a nice editable mesh. So if we just do Z remesh here. I'll press Z remesh and I'll just pause the video because this might take a few minutes to process. Now this process is finished we can see that all the triangles have been converted to quads and we've got a nice even flow topology across the object which is going to be a lot better for sculpting and manipulating. It's probably worth just getting a, a rid of these, a few of these bottom bits that aren't really required. So we just select these and make them a bit neater. And I think um, that will pretty much do. Still a few bits, but it's better than it was. Now go to Geometry, Tab, Modify Topology, and just delete Hidden. And that's just got rid of everything we just we, uh, just masked off. So the next point, and the next stage we need to do is actually organise the new UV lay, uh, UV map layout. And this can be done by going to. Uh, we'll just turn off polyframes, be easy to see. Go to Z, Z Plugins, UV Master, scroll down and just turn off the symmetry because in this instance we don't need a symmetry. If it was a head, it's worth using, but on this there's there's no symmetry really. So we'll turn that off. Enable control painting. Select the areas we want to protect. Probably worth reducing the size of the brush. And just draw on the mesh the areas we want to protect. Sometimes a bit easier with a a pen and a whack on but I'm just using a mouse so it's not going to be the best but it's just a quick example. Then we need to just go on a different side and assign the areas we want to attract. So let's reduce the size of the brush again. worth just closing uh, going down to center in the areas that, uh, that seems are going to be less visible come down from the tree this area of a branch that's sticking out might be better on its own little UV space to so just draw around it draw the guides where we want the separation to be. And just continue down the front of the tree all the way to the bottom. And that should now give ZBrush some guides of how to unwrap the mesh in a better layout. So go back to Z uh, plugin, 
So I'd plug in unwrap. And now if we go to the UV layout, just morph to UV. You can see how the mess, how the all the fragmented mesh is now in a more of an even layout. If more time is spent on it, a better example can be done. But we can just see how we can realign the mesh. Now the UV has been organized, we need to go back to our initial model in the sub tool and reproject the higher poly information onto this lower poly version. Currently, if we look at the, the, fra the poly frame, we've not really got enough detail to allow this. So if we go into the geometry tab, uh, divide the mesh, and uh, divide it again. So we're now up to, actually we could probably divide that again. Oops. So we're now up to 685. Then back in the sub-tool, make sure both are visible. You can see the higher, the original model sticking through because there's more detail. Have the low poly one selected, still visible. Go to project and project all. And you can now see that the information has been relayed onto the low poly version that's got the nice topology and also a more workable UV layout. So the next thing to do is actually export the mesh because the UVs have been uh, fixed. We've got a nice topology the only thing we need now to do is take it back into Agisoft. So just export the mesh, call this tree one, it's called uh, reUV, and save. Now the next stage will be back over in Agisoft, remapping the textures onto the new, v new UV map layout.